The masterminds behind the cafeteria redesign are Cornell University professors David Just and Brian Wansink. I wanted to know how they're going to basically trick teens into eating right. So what are we doing here? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of the milk, put it in front so if a person's thirsty, at least they have the option of picking something up. At least they have to reach over the white milk if they want to pick up right. a uh, flavored sugared beverage. Step two. They took the pizza, which was the first thing in the lunch line, and moved it towards the back. And the veggies and the healthy bean burrito moved right to the front. Step three, they renamed the healthy food. We find that changing something as small as calling these mixed vegetables California blend or the big bed bean burritos increased sales by about 27%. Step four, they moved the fruit from a plastic tub into a pretty fruit bowl. And finally, they took the cookies and put them just out of reach. They're going to have to ask one of the food service workers to help pick it up. We think that's just enough of a barrier to keep some percentage of kids from saying, eh, whatever, I'll have an orange. The professors rolled up their sleeves, made their changes, and now it's lunchtime. Oh, there she's getting her tray. She grabbed a sandwich. She's My getting God. an Arizona iced tea, I think. An orange juice. Ah, and she got the cookie. So, Samantha, this time you didn't get the cookie and you got a piece of fruit instead. Why'd you get the fruit this time? Why, why do you think? I don't know. <laughs> well, this was an unbelievable success. Fruit increased by 102% simply by putting it in a nice bowl. The sweet drinks were also harder to get to, and Jane, Marcy, Richie, and Levante fell right into our trap. Last time they grabbed Gatorade, Snapple, and Arizona iced tea, but this time... Well, the water was just in front, so I just grabbed it. Sales of sugary drinks plunged by 17%, while purchases of easy-to-reach milk soared 46%. Whatever was easiest to reach, that was good enough for them, and that was enough to get them to change. Another hit, the Big Bad Bean Burrito, sold out for the first time ever. The professors say, on average, students' plates this time around contained about 18% fewer calories, and they made healthier choices.